So here we are. This is the uh, Xena CH750 Cruiser Wing Kit. Pretty much all the parts here out of the box, ready to put together. And of course, we'll notice that all the parts are uh, final hole size, match drilled, ready to be Clayco together. And uh, with me, of course, is uh, Roger Dubert from the Xena Factory and uh, Steve as well, uh, putting this uh, section together. on the nose rib and the rear rib together to the main spar with five thirty-second Clecos, which will be riveted with the A4, A5 rivets. Because the fuel tank goes here, of course there's no rear rib, it's just nose rib and the uh, bracket for the fuel tank. Yeah, this is the bracket for the fuel tank, which you'll actually put uh, cork on later. And for those of you that are looking at this for the first time, uh, again, this is a Xena CH750 cruiser kit, wing kit. This is actually the left wing for the airplane. Uh, these are all the pre formed parts that come in the kit. 6061 T6, all the parts are pre formed, pre bent, ready for assembly. And again, the nice thing with these advanced kits is that they're really ready to start coming together right out of the box. We haven't measured anything yet. We haven't uh, done anything except uh, use our Clico pliers and Clicos and start putting the assembly together. So after we assemble the skeleton, we're actually just gonna start riveting the skeleton together. We're not gonna worry about corrosion protection or, or anything like that just because we live in the Midwest. We're gonna keep our airplane in the hangar and, and uh, it'll last for many, many years like that. It's all uh, 6061 T6 aluminum alloy. So it's already very corrosion resistant to start with. Some folks do use additional corrosion protection, uh, like Roger mentioned, but it, uh, depending on where your airplane is going to be located, it's really quite optional. Now the wing spar itself, this section right here, has been completely pre-manufactured and has already been solid riveted at the factory. And here we can see a little bit of a light green uh, film where a zinc chromate primer has been applied between the seams already at the factory. And this is supplied on all the, the factory built wing spars in the kit. Well, we're getting to the wingtip area. Uh, we'll have a spar extension and then we'll have the wingtip at the very end. The 750 Cruiser has a few additional ribs compared to the 750 Stoll aircraft that has a uh, dual struts and the cruiser has a single strut so we have to have a few more extra ribs in here. But as we can see it doesn't take much more time at all because of uh, the pre-drilled uh, element. Uh, having a few extra parts in the construction really doesn't add much at all to the overall construction time of the airplane. And this here we are on the wing tip already. Spar extension. I think I made it in there, Steve. I used the wrong word. The wrong word. Thank you. And isn't that cool how a few minutes, within a few minutes, we already have something that resembles now a wing. We've got the nose ribs and the rear ribs all attached to the spar. And then next thing, of course, is the rear spar channel here that will assemble to the uh, end of the rear ribs. Finish down there. Let's go ahead and click with uh, the root ribs on. This is the root rib for the 750 Cruiser. The reason it's uh, it's quite a bit of a different shape than the normal rib is so you have excellent visibility when you start a 30 degree bank turn. That's one of Chris's trademarks on his uh, high wing aircraft. So you have excellent visibility in all turns. And the root rib, that's the, the section that basically attaches to the cabin area. Right here, this point right here, that's the uh, top of the cabin frame piece.
Now we're going to work on the rear spars. These are the doublers for the rear spar, and then we have uh, a root in plate. Now you could go ahead and rivet your rear spar doublers all in place, but I found that if you go ahead and rivet it before you actually attach it to your, your ribs, you might rivet in areas where you shouldn't be riveting at this time. So I like to just go ahead and plinkle the entire skeleton together first, take a good look at it, and then start riveting. Now clicos are wonderful, it's a wonderful tool to allow us to hold everything together before we put an assembly uh, riveted together, so it really uh, allows us to get a lot done. So we have an inboard rear spar, an outboard, and then they're spliced together with this piece here. This is the type of pre-manufacturing that really uh, allows us to build these aircraft in record time and what allowed us to build an airplane in just seven days at uh, Oshkosh 2014. And uh, while we don't need necessarily this much level of pre-manufacturing, it sure makes it quicker and easier, especially for the first time builder. So after clicking this section together, we're ready to start riveting it together. So uh, Steve is set up here with the pneumatic rivet puller hooked up to the airlines. These are pretty much all uh, A5 rivets, I believe, the 532nd holes. And there's no race to get this done quickly, but at the same time, uh, as you can see, pneumatic riveting, it's uh, you can see why it's called a pop rivet because it just goes just one set and it just pops. There's really nothing to it. Just make sure you're squaring your part. Yeah, a couple things you want to pay attention to is, uh, like Steve mentioned, you want to be square on the part. You want, you want to make there, sure, there. exactly, you'll be nice and perpendicular to the part. And then you just also want to make sure you just apply a little bit of pressure so that uh, the rivet is, is seated nicely in the hole. But that's about the full uh, depth of the skills that's required to rivet. And uh, in this case here, because we have two riveters and uh, two workers, we can kind of work together. So Roger's going to start on his side and do the same thing. time you get the entire family out and start riveting and young kids can have fun riveting. So the standard procedure here is obviously we have quite a few clicos to hold the sections together. Then we rivet everywhere else between all the holes between the clicos. And then uh, once that section is done, we'll be removing all the clicos and then filling in the rivets in between those that are left open. So really straightforward procedure. And of course, again, in your home environment, you probably won't have two riveters and two sets of workers working on it. It'll probably just be one person working on it at the time. And it'll take a little bit longer, but the skill set is pretty much exactly the same. And because everything is complete 
completely pre-drilled, match drilled like this, it, as you can see, it's really not critical that everything is jigged or anything like that. We just click all the parts. We use a relatively flat table, but that's about the only thing that's important because everything is already predetermined by the by the by the match drilled parts. So it makes it really simple that way. So as we can see on the inboard side, on the trailing uh, edge spar, we've got the doublers installed on here. So quite a few more rivets on this side. And then on the outboard side, it's just a rear spar. There's no channel inside, so quite a few or fewer rivets used here. Are you ready to start riveting the nose ribs together? Yeah. Okay. So on to the nose ribs. And so here now we're actually connecting the rear ribs to the spar to the nose ribs. Pretty much one set of rivets in most cases. Sometimes you'll have to pull the rib away so you can get a, a nice a flat surface. The rib will bounce right back into position, so that's easy to do. So as you can see, we're making really quick progress on this swing assembly. You know, from just clicking the parts together and then riveting them together. Now we pretty much have the internal wing skeleton already all put together. Pretty amazing. And it's my understanding that uh, this summer at Oshkosh uh, 2015 at Air Venture, we'll be building a couple sets of wings for uh, cruiser or stole airplanes, we're not sure which models, but together with the EAA to demonstrate the ease of construction, we'll be uh, building a few sets of wings right at Air Venture and inviting folks to come along um, and uh, pull a few rivets to get some good hands-on experience to be a part of the construction of a couple new airplanes.